think we should talk. I mean, say who we are again. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll go first, I guess. Yeah. I'm Christine Marie Cavanos, and I'm the voice actress for Mako on Kill a Kill, Maroka from Maroka Magica, um, Silica from Sword Art Online, Shiami from Blue Exorcist. Um, I'm Neb here in the Hyper Dimension games. I'm Marie Rose in Dead or Alive. I'm Reyna and Mew in Pokemon. And let's do other stuff. <laughs> My name is Christina V. I'm Sailor Mars and the new dub of Sailor Moon. I'm Noel Vermillion in the Blaze Blue games, Riven in League of Legends, Sonk in Final Fantasy Type Zero. Um, Kampa in Neptunia, Homura in Madoka Magica, Mio in Kaon, um, in Dynasty Warriors, and I play a bunch of roles in like every other anime show, like Kill a Kill, Sword Art Online, Tiger and Bunny, and things like that. So we're here to talk to you guys and answer your questions. And we can't hear you if you don't have a mic, so she has a mic that's going to pass her. Yeah, you, get, you definitely want to get her attention yes. if you have a question. But with just a little disclaimer, we might have to take shifts going to the bathroom. <laughs> so please excuse us if we run off stage for like a minute. <laughs> but we won't leave at once. We'll take turns. <laughs> he's laughing at us. And he's laughing yeah. at us. <laughs> So we have some hands, I see. Um, I'm just wondering, is there any um, voices or characters that you missed or you always wanted to voice in any animes? That we missed? Yeah, missed or you always wanted to do. Oh, like we didn't get a chance to play them? Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Yesterday my answer was Sakura from Crowcaptor Sakura. I'm trying to think of another one that would be appropriate. I want to be in Street Fighter, and I want to be in the new Fate Stay Night anime. I think that'd be really cool. I want to be in a Final Fantasy game. <gasps> Kingdom Hearts game! Ah! That'd be so cool. Or a yeah. Smash Brothers game, too. Oh, Smash Brothers, yeah. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> question of oh hello this is loud <laughs> yeah. um, so how do you get work as a voice actor do people come to you and be like hey we need this voice or do you have to go and audition for stuff we audition for everything mm -hmm. for the most part okay mm -hmm. there's been some rare occasions where um, the cast are, they already kind of know who they want and they know our voices so they call it just call us in okay. yeah. Yeah. yeah thank you I wish I'm like hey Christina be this part yeah. Every time. <laughs> oh, it makes job, the job so much easier. It would. <laughs> is there music? What is that? I don't know. There's music coming out of the speaker, so it's kind of nice. Hello. Hello. Hey. Um, so one of the most commonly asked questions at panels like this is advice on getting into voiceover. So, um, from your perspective, um, have you noticed incre an increase of um, acting talent who specifically wanting to get into voiceover for animation, or would you say it's still mostly people who are just actors in general who fell into voiceover by accident? I think the game has changed a whole lot. Mm -hmm. Now, I, it's very rare that I see like a new voice actor who is just like, oh, I am just kind of just trying this out. Now it's like. I feel like most of the voiceover actors I get into it now do want to be voice actors. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> do you want to you take the first shift? Huh? Do you want to take the first shift? I can. Yeah, okay. I'll be back, guys. So, sorry about that. Christine will be right back. But if you have a question for me, I'll be happy to answer it. <laughs> All right. Uh, who are your favorite characters to voice? My favorite characters to voice, um, right now I'm really enjoying voicing Sailor Mars because I grew up watching the show. And so to dub the exact same show that made me want to be a voice actor, I think is pretty special. I'm really happy that I get to do that. 
Thank you. Hey, are you any good at video games apart from Skullgirls? Am I? Oh, directing? No, no, you're any good at. Oh, good at? I'm not very good at Skullgirls. Well, the videos tell a different story on Oh, yeah, okay, that's true. I'm pretty good at Skullgirls. <laughs> Uh, I'm pretty good at fighting games in general because I, I play the drums so I have like the, the muscles built in my hands to be like super fast um, so uh, I also was okay at League of Legends um, rhythm games are really I mean same thing because I'm a drummer uh, I can pick up rhythm games really fast and I, those are my favorite types thank you thank you thanks for watching those silly videos <laughs> Riven for me, please. Um, Riven? Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. Wait, there's somebody at my autograph session. Are you here? You wanted to hear the Riven voice? He's not here. Okay. What is broken can be reforged. <laughs> my soul is not lost. <laughs> Does that sound like her? Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> <awesome. Okay. laughs> Because one time I, I, somebody asked me to do that at a convention, and I did it, and they said, oh, that was pretty close. <laughs> like, oh, I'll try harder next time. It's tough at conventions because you're talking really loud all weekend, and then, you know, when you do a soft voice like that, it could be a little bit difficult. But yeah. Um, do you have any advice for maybe any aspiring voice actors? Raise your hand. Hello. Yeah. So it's off yes. again. Okay, for aspiring voice actors, see the thing is, I'm not sure, I, I have no idea how the voice acting scene works here, but I mean, I guess the universal thing is you really need to be an actor first. I mean, any acting you can do, I, but especially in theater. I think theater actors have an easier time transitioning to voiceover than film actors do for some reason. I'm not really too sure about that. But taking doing theater as much as you can, um, and also, singing lessons, sing as much as you can. And this is kind of a weird one, but it's very essential. And I don't know about you know other professions, but when you're an artist, you need to know who you are, especially when you're young. Um, you need to f figure out how, who you are. So um, I really recommend therapy. Seriously. I'm <laughs> no, I'm being serious. It's not because you know I'm saying you're depressed or anything. I'm saying because because it's such an important part to, to see. Help me, Christine. <laughs> um, it's just an important process that you need, to, you need to learn about yourself and you need to be able to access your emotions and there's no better way than that than to, I mean, and even just speaking, to talking to your friends a lot is a form of that. So that's, those, are my, those are my three things and yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much, I hope that helps. Christine, I answered a bunch of questions. Yeah. Uh huh. Um, I guess I guess it will be my turn. Okay. Be Hi. right back, guys. <laughs> oh, jump! Woo. Hello. What did I miss? A lot. Not a lot. <laughs> Does anybody have a question? Because I'm just gonna stare at you until you ask me something. <laughs> Do you have any thoughts on the uh, Homo Mada that sort of came about? The what? Uh, homo Mada, the pairing. Oh, the pairing? Mm. Um, I don't know, everybody always asks me that, like what I feel. You mean like what I feel their relationship is to each other? Um, I was just wondering sort of what your reaction was to, uh, to this sort of thing happening with the characters. Actually, it's not what I expected when I first uh, watched the show, and I like it. And Christine is my waifu, so I'm okay with it. Of all the voices that you've performed, which would be your favorite and why? I think truly my favorite is um, Minori Kushieda from Toradora. Do you guys know that show? Toradora? I love that one. I always felt like it was my favorite 
like love, like romantic comedy anime that I've ever seen. I felt for the characters a lot, and all the characters developed a, a lot. And Minori has a lot of different shades of her personality. I know she's like really crazy and stuff, but she she grows, she's mature, she has like all these emotions. It's just she was very, very well rounded. A lot of the other characters I play seem to be a little not one noted, but they you know they show like one side of their personality predominantly. So Minori was a nice rounded thing. You can do it. I told him you're my waifu. So graceful just now. Did you guys see that? That was awesome. <laughs> Are there about being waifus? I told them you're my waifu. Oh yeah. Oh hi. <laughs> that was hard. <laughs> Next question. Uh 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 uh. We're gonna just sing if you don't ask questions. Sure. We'll sing horrible songs. Oh, that one. Oh, there you go. Oh, sorry. Is that us or no? Uh, no, so that was me. Oh. <laughs> um, uh, if there was a character that you could kind of construct for yourself to voice act, like oh. right now, uh, with your current sort of like skill set and sort of what you want to do, Aww. what would you put into that character? They have to be cute for me. <laughs> they have to have pigtails. And they have to be a little crazy. Mine would have to have purple hair. <laughs> um, you know, I would really like to do a character maybe that's in a historical anime. I've never, well, it's in Dynasty Warriors, I guess. Yeah. Oh, and Blade of Immortal. I guess I have that one. <laughs> I'm not too sure. Um, I just, I really like characters with a lot of development and really meaty scenes who go on this huge emotional journey. So I definitely, any time that opportunity comes, I'm, I'm happy to take it. And if they can have a lot of lines, that'd be great. Yeah, a lot of lines. <laughs> and if they're, they can be in like the center of the box art, that would yeah. be perfect. <laughs> um, hello. Hello. I love your hat. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so, uh, do you have like a set of routine you have to do before voice acting? Yeah, singing too. That's I think that's pretty much. I used to do like a whole regimen and routine, um, but then I found that singing does the same thing, and it's I don't know, it's just easier that way. I like to sing in the character's voice if I can. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Hi. Hi. Oh, um, what would your Pokemon partner be? You chose one. If we chose a what? Pokemon. Uh, Pokemon. Oh, my Pokemon partner. Pokemon partner. I feel like mine has to be one of the little, the pink ones. Like Mew. Oh. Or like, I always like Jigglypuff and Clefairy and all the little fairy ones too. I would go with my original starter Pokemon, which is Bulbasaur. Mm -hmm. What? What was that? Bulbasaur is the best. Oh, oh, sorry, Squirtle. I love Squirtle. Squirtle's my starter. I love Squirtle too because he was so easy to beat with Vine Whip <laughs> and Razor Leaf and Solar Beam. Squirtle's the best. Uh, but yeah, I love Bulbasaur because he's like a little dog but it's like a <laughs> plant too so you can like, I don't know. It's great. I love Bulbasaur. He had a weird voice. Bulbasaur. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry Squirtle, I love all I did Squirtle Pokemon. Talk. Squirtle. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm a fake Pokemon fan, and you're in Pokemon Origins. Yes. Would you mind doing a fight if I did a Pokemon Origins for me? Pokemon for the, the people I do or the Pokemon? The Pokemon. The Pokemon. <laughs> oh, and Christina too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, a Mew. So I think Mew just went. And then I was Pidgey, which was just. Which is just choo 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 <laughs> choo choo. All he did was choo choo. <laughs> well, I don't remember what voice I gave to the Nidorans. Oh, like Cubone. Cubone was fun. Cubone went <laughs> and <laughs> Christina.
Dana played my Pokemon in that show. Yeah, you guys gotta watch Pokemon Origins episode, what, three? Two? Is it two? I think, I think it's episode two. It's me and Christine. Yeah. Yeah, two. Me and, it's me and Christine all up in that episode. Yeah. And <laughs> um, thank you so much. Yeah. That's made my day. <laughs> oh, I love doing Pokemon Origins. Me too. I want to be more Pokemon. Um, um, I know this is meant to be a Q&A, but could I possibly request that you two do some sort of singing duet now? I've heard Christina's voice on YouTube, but not yours, unfortunately. Could you oh. possibly sing something for us, please? We sing so much together, but now that... When we're out there, I would never think yeah, of... Yeah, I can't think of something. Why do we always sing together? <gasps> I got it. Ready? Wait, you have to tell me what it is. <laughs> you'll, you'll know it. I just gotta find the key. Don't let them in. Be the good girl you always have to be. Conceal, don't feel, put on a show. Make one wrong move and everyone will know. But it's only for today. But it's only for today. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Wait, we switched part. Oh, yeah, there we go. Tell the guard to open up the gate. that you can't sustain. 
So uh, to sustain that voice for like several hours, like four hours, is very difficult. So yeah. Yeah, I think that was it. I kind of sustained talking about high and loud for four yeah. hours. Straight. I think we're the opposite because she can sustain being low for a long time, mm -hmm. and I can sustain being high for a long time. I like. I mean, low. you know, high voice. <laughs> Miku, please go back home. Go like a Uh, hello. Um, hello. Um, have you got any? Oh, well, everyone's looking at me now. Uh, have you got any uh, funny stories from your voice acting career? Funny stories? Hmm. Um. I mean, at one time, I feel like the funniest things happen when, like, we're at conventions together. Yeah, not necessarily in the booth. Yeah, it's tough. Uh, I feel like I, like there's one. I have one, but it's weird, and you know it. I do. Yeah. Give me a hint. We were recording Madoka, and I made a weird sound. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty funny. Can you tell it? I should tell it. So we went in to record one of the Madoka movies, and the director was telling me that he got the hiccups the other night, and he said they sounded like this. <gasps> So I decided to just do that on a take and everyone just like fell on the floor laughing and then we just we spent like 15 minutes just placing it in different parts over different people. And I had to hear it too without knowing <laughs> what like they is put it over that? Cube, they put it over Cube, they put it over Madoka, they put it over everything. So you would just hear regular lines of the <laughs> <laughs> My favorite one you told me is Puella Maggi, Holy Quintet! <laughs> And we put it on like transformation scenes. It was the best. Oh yeah, I love those. And all the burps. I burp a lot, so they always keep those and play them back really slow with the neck. Oh, that's fun. Um, all right. So when when you voice characters like in a game or an anime, um, yeah. When they get hurt or when they die, like. Did you, they make it really dramatic. So, what what goes through your mind when, to make those sounds? I'm like dying. <laughs> do you have like a massive death scene? Like, do you actually like oh, yeah. fall down and get hurt and make that sound? Or? We can't fall down because we have to stay on mic. <laughs> oh yeah. So, um, yeah. Well, in um, in Madoka, if you guys know. Oh yeah. Yeah. I have a scene where I do like like a death scream, and that was like really really loud. And I don't know, you kind of just have to... I learned that you can't try to control your death scream. You just have to let go as if you're falling off a cliff or something. Just pretend. I think I've always had an affinity for screaming for some reason. I don't know, I'm just really good at screaming. <laughs> <laughs> she does it in restaurants with food together. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really love those parts. Uh, but I, I do know now that it is kind of a talent and a special skill you have to have to be able to scream. And I like learned that. that laughing is too. Not everybody can laugh yeah. on mic for some reason. Not everybody can laugh, not everybody can scream, so... Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry, can you give us a laugh or a scream? I'm not gonna scream because it oh, hurts. But we can do some evil laughs. Evil laugh? Or any, any laugh. What was that? We did, we were practicing like an evil, like, Chucky doll kind of laugh. No. <laughs> like that? Thank you. I love laughing on mic. I don't know what, what, should, what kind of laugh should I do? Dramatic over like... Oh, like a evil mo <laughs> I'm scared now. that you felt like you did sit-ups after the session. Does <laughs> anyone else have a question? If you had to choose three anime, manga, or video game characters to defend yourselves with zombies, what would they be? Ooh, that's a good oh. one. So they're like my, my team, like I send them off to... 
Get me zombies. Madoka would rewrite the laws. And there she would. would be no zombies. She definitely would do that, wouldn't she? Uh, hmm. Maka would be good distraction. So she can be in there. I don't know what my strongest character would be. I mean, I'm gonna go with Aaron Yeager in the front. Oh, not our own characters. Any not, our, characters. not our own characters. Any character? Oh, yeah. Aaron, and definitely Aaron. He has a very scary streak. Gamagori will be my shield. Yeah, I feel like I need like a big creature. Yeah. Oh, what about that, that, that Pokemon that's like a dinosaur, but he has like metal on his back? I want that guy. Right on? No. Oh, something else. What was it? Not right on. Not, it's a newer one. He's like a T-Rex. Oh. And then I need like a magic user. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Oh yeah, Sailor Moon can join him or heal him if she feels so inclined. Does she heal? She that's heals. Oh, okay. yeah. I want a sniper. Sinon! Sinon! How do you say her name? Yeah, I'm sort of online. That's a good one. You yeah. need one more. Right? Me? Yes. Sinon, Gamagori, and... I need a magic. Yeah. Who's magic? Sakura! There she has go. like a book of cards and she can use anything. Sleep, light, dark, anything. Where's the mic? Oh, she has it. Anybody have a question? <laughs> oh, we're just gonna vocaloid again. <laughs> Please, can. Please go back home. <laughs> Talk about video games. Do you know um, if they've um, considered making a video game from Madoka Magica? And if not, do you think they should? There's some independent ones. And I think there are actually official uh, Madoka games, but not yeah, there are. US. There are. There's Madoka games, there are, but no, they've never been translated into English. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe they should do that then. They should. Right? That would be really right. cool. But there is one thing, I don't know if they sell it here, but it's called Madoka Phone. Yeah. It's for Android only, unfortunately. Well, I have Android. Yeah. You do? Okay. Look okay. up yeah. Madoka Phone. And it's you on can, Google Play. Yeah. And it, you can fight witches in there somehow, but it transforms your whole phone into like a Monica Magica theme. And you can choose between the five girls. Yeah. Sounds awesome. Yeah. yeah. It's really yeah. neat. I think there's like a cube calculator. Oh, yeah. He gets shot, I think, when you type in the numbers. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. Right. As a voice actor, you normally kind of have to get in touch with your character and kind of know the how dark are you willing to get with a character and still be kind of comfortable with him or her? Oh, huh. I played really scary characters. Like, I mean, a lot of my characters are just very emotionally broken and damaged. Like, uh, I play this character named Four in Drakengard 3, and she just wants to destroy the world, but she's like, oh yeah, I'm so nice and happy, I'm gonna kill the world. Um, but I love playing characters who who are so dark and twisted, but they're not, they, did, they don't think that they are. They're just, oh, this, is, this is what I'm doing and this is right. And I feel like that's, those are like the kind of characters I play. And um, I'm willing to go <clears throat> as dark as I can because I'm not like that. So it gives me a chance, you know, to, because it's like free reign to play in that kind of scary space. My darkest character is not released yet, but she's kind of, sadistic and she enjoys other people's pain so that was a little strange but yeah I mean for the sake of the character we'll go anywhere really yeah thank you except hentai <laughs> oh okay yeah I'll go there <laughs> raise your hands in the air are you guys having fun yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm having a good time. I'm a little loopy. Yeah. We didn't get much sleep last night. Mm -mm -mm -mm. We woke up. Two more questions. We only have two more questions. Ah, I want to tell the story about the cheese. Uh, um, are there any characters of each other's you've ever wanted to voice? Oh, oh, oh I never got that question. That. Oh, that's a oh, good one. I think I would like to try Mako. Oh. She sounds like fun. No, no. Wait. Listen, like, Homura, Morgiana, Morgiana, oh Morgiana, 
Morgiana looks cool. Morgiana's really fun. But she doesn't have a lot of lines. <laughs> uh, why can't I think of my characters right now? Maybe Homura. Yeah. I think that would be interesting. Yeah. yeah. It's like out of our usual uh, yeah. cast, casting. Who said that? <laughs> Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Oh, yeah. You moved. Yeah. Did you? Oh yeah, so last night we were trying to sleep, but for some reason there were guys yelling outside and then somebody got in super late. So anyways, it was like 3.30 a.m. and I woke up and I grabbed my phone I was playing Zoom Zoom. I don't think you guys have it here, but it's like a Disney game. And then Christine turns over, maybe 30 minutes later, is like, Christina, how are you sending me hearts if you're asleep? <laughs> Because I thought she was sleeping, but she was playing the same game. <laughs> yeah, we were, we were like, like turned around playing <laughs> video games in the dark, like the same game. <laughs> and so we woke up, and it was around 5 o'clock, and we decided, no, sleep is not going to happen. So we started eating cheese. That we got at the market. <laughs> we ate cheese and like snacks, and it was the best ever. Yep, just a pure block of cheese. <laughs> so this is our very last question. And then we're going back to America. Aww. Yeah, so sad. No. So who has the best question ever? Yes. Um, out of all the characters you ever voiced in both anime and video games, is there any particular characters you feel you can relate to the most or have a strong connection with? Huh. Connection. For me, my connection is with Azusa from k -On. Ever and I, when the like when all the girls graduate, like I felt it so hard, and I really, really did cry, and I just feel so connected to her, and she's always gonna be like my baby. And for me, it's gonna be Noelle Vermillion from Blaze Blue. Um, she starts off just really timid and shy, like almost unbearably shy, but it's great because, especially in the last game. Um, she really grew up, and it was really fun because I grew up with the character, basically, because I, I started doing her when I was maybe a teenager or something crazy like that, and then I'm really happy to have had that journey and to grow with the character. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like these questions. Yeah. Alright, so we have to head out. We do. Well, miss Thank you, you guys. Sure you can. 